All right. So in this video, I'll show you how you can deploy resources to Google Cloud using Terraform Cloud. Okay, so this is my uh, Terraform code, which creates a compute engine instance. So as you can see over here, I have defined the provider. And inside the provider block, I have defined a variable called as Google Credential. So this Google Credentials is nothing but the service account keys. So you your Google Cloud project, your Google Cloud account, you would need to You need to create a service account by going to identity and access management. So I'll go to identity and access management. And in identity and access management, I can go to service accounts. I have already created a service account called as Terraform. Okay. You can create the service account. And once the service account is created, we'll download the keys. So you can just simply add a key. We'll create a JSON key. Okay. And you make sure that you give your Terraform necessary permission. So in my scenario, I've given my Terra in my uh, I've given my service account, Terraform service account, the owner permission on this particular project. Okay. So this is the credential part. Now you don't need to show the credential in your Git repository. So this is a Git repository. Okay. You just need to define the variable called as Google credentials. And then you can define the project variable, region variable. And this is the uh, block which creates the compute engine instance. And we are creating a Debian 11 compute engine instance over here as you can see. Okay. Now if I go to the variables file, so you can see variables of project, region, zone, machine, machine type, instance name, and in Google credential variable, you will say default as blank. You need to keep this one as blank, okay? Because we are not storing the uh, account keys in the Git repository. That is something which won't be recommended, okay? So we, we are passing a blank variable over here. Now let me show you where you will pass the uh, service account keys, okay? Let me copy the variable name, okay? And this is my Terraform cloud account. I have already created an organization. Inside this organization, I'll go to settings and I'll go to variable set. And over here, I'll create a new variable set. We'll call it as Google Cloud credentials. Okay, I'll apply it globally. And here I'll add a variable. Okay. I'll pass on the key over here. I'll pass on it as an environment variable and the service account file which you downloaded okay download the service account file I'll open the service account file i copy the content and paste it over here and i can make it sensitive also i'll add this variable and i'll create this variable set okay so this is created now you need to connect your git repository to a workspace so I'll say new workspace and then let's call it as, okay, this and I'll collect the version control. I already have my Git app, Git repository connected. If you are doing it for the first time, it will ask you to connect your Git repository. Okay, I'll select this and then I'll select my GitHub repository and this will create a workspace. Okay, and I'll click start new plan. I'll say start. So this will trigger Terraform. And you can see it is in plan state. Okay, so I guess we got error in the Variables, let's go back very quickly to settings. We need to go to the organization settings. Let's see, okay, that didn't got saved somehow. Okay, let me create the variable set one more time. Let's call it as Google Cloud. 
credentials variable environment variable is the key over here will paste the variable so not the variable name paste the variable name over here make it sensitive uh, okay it has to be environment variable actually and i'll say create variable Yes, there is some some sort of character issue because of this. It is failing. Let me do it one more time. Let me refresh this page. Let me save it as Terraform variable, not getting saved as environment variable. And I'll create it. It got created this time successfully. Now let's go to the workspace, Terraform workspace, and let me try to do a new run. Let's say this is our first run. So you can see it is in planned state and the plan is successful. It is running the plan and it's successful. Okay, now okay, you can download the plan if you want to. Okay. That is also showing you some estimated cost of the resource. Okay. And I can say confirm and apply. So if I say yes, this will do a terraform apply for me. Okay, so you can see terraform apply is running. Which means if I go to my project and if I go to compute engine, I should see a machine getting created. Okay, so you can see a machine is already created over here. And the apply got finished successfully. So you this is how you can deploy resources to Google Cloud. All right, by running Terraform in Terraform Cloud.